What's going on everybody? Frank AZHP Collectibles here with another mail time. This is a football only mail time. No packs, all cards. Let's get started. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages as usual. One of them being a PWE, plain white envelope. Move those off to the side and we'll do background real quick. <clears throat> I decided to do 1,000 yard clubs, and I think I'm only gonna go four in the background at this point as well, so I can put stuff over here like I used to. But uh, went with 1986 1,000 yard club Eric Dickerson, PSA 8. 87 1,000 yard club Jerry Rice, PSA 8. A ProGrading.com, whatever that is, uh, 1988 tops, PS, uh, or, PG8, 1990 tops, Barry Sanders, PSA 9, and um, I realized I don't have an 89 in my collection, so I need to get one at some point. But anyway, let's just jump right in. PWE, what do we have? Let's get this out of the way real quick. All right, hey, this is cool. Just like everything else I pick up, this is a black refractor from 2012. Yep, 2012. That is serial number to 299. Black refractors are very, very good looking. Maybe not numbered as low as some other cards in the set, but they are gorgeous. Very cool, Patrick Willis, future Hall of Famer there. That's an interesting way to ship the card in the case there, but okay. <clears throat> All right, next up, what do we have? Some more stuff in top loaders. All right, we have a 2001 archives. I believe there's two of them in here, yes. 2001 archives, so the first year that Actually, the second, because they did 94. Uh, 2001 Archives. Uh, no. Uh, correct me. I am. This is. These are not 2001 Archives. These are the Walter Payton reprints. They are from 2001. But this is not out of Archives. This is out of regular Tops. They did in 2001, both in Tops and Tops Chrome, Walter Payton reprints. This is the 76 Rookie reprint, which is very cool. Um, I, it's very unlikely that I will ever get to own a Walter Payton rookie. Maybe someday, who knows, 10, 15 years down the road, maybe I will eventually spring for one. They are very, very expensive. But for now, I can deal with some reprints. So there they are. We have a, I want to say 2002. I think this is a second year retro fractor from Heritage in that 1957 design. 1957 design? Uh, serial number to 557. This was way cheap. I can't believe I got his second year card. Retrofractor, number to 557, as cheap as I did. This was like $3. Um, I'm pretty sure it goes for a lot more, but very cool. Little LT. We got some 2015 Chrome. This is a mini Devonte Parker rookie. The sepias in the minis are not numbered. Um, I believe they're one per box. I could be wrong on that, but they are not numbered. Uh, the regular non-mini sepias are to 99, but nonetheless, still looks very good. Devonte Parker. Very good receiver, enough for me to pick up his rookies when I see him. And a Mike Pouncey, I don't even know what this is called. This is out of regular tops, it's a 60th anniversary. It's got this red border. It looks really nice. I had never, I don't think I'd ever seen one before. It is serial number to 60, which I thought was really cool for the 60th anniversary. So I just picked it up, it was a dollar. I don't know what they're, what they're going for, but I mean, given there's only 60 of them, that's pretty cool. Um, next package. Hey, this is super cool. We got one PSA and one raw here. The raw wouldn't be one of my videos without a tops 
Fan Favorites Auto from 2013 Archives. This is one of the harder ones to get. These I have not seen below, I want to say about 70 bucks. Brian Sight being one of the more expensive ones in the set. Uh, this is probably the most I've sprang for a card in a very, very long time. Uh, I dropped 40 on it. I had a really good week. I uh, typically I don't see these under 70 at this point I'm only 14 I think away from the entire set of archives fan favorites autos and I knew I had to get it at some point and I figured I might as well pick it up at 40 while I see it now at 40 instead of eventually having to deal with getting one at 70 so I don't know why Brian Sype in particular is very difficult to get but I'm very happy to have it, and now I've got one of the more expensive ones out of the way on that collection. And then the other card in this package, the seller had a Herschel Walker from 89 Tops Traded PSA 9, and he had that on sale, and that was under 10 bucks. Uh, so I don't think Herschel Walker will ever be in the hall. I think he is deserving. I don't think he's ever been a finalist, but uh, you know, may not be a fan of his politics, but um, you know what? He was a monster on the field. He does MMA now. Like the guy is, uh, the guy is doing MMA at like 55 years old. It's wild. Um, all right. So next package. Okay. 2014 Topps Chrome Carlos Hyde in that 1985 style. This is the refractor parallel serial number to 99 now typically i wouldn't pick up carlos hyde um, i think you know he had some good years but i don't think he is uh amazing enough for me to pick up his rookies on the regular but i have i want to say three of these brandon cooks Jadavian Clowney, and uh one other player that i can't remember offhand of the refractors that are graded they look absolutely beautiful so i f i figured it was cheap enough i might as well pick it up add it to the other the other ones in the set uh looks absolutely gorgeous glad to have it all right what do we got one two three we have four packages left i've been hitting all the small ones first kind of getting them out of the way oh Okay, well, more 2013 archives. I probably should have prepped this package. We got some tape in the way. I'm trying to get to it here. 19 or 2013 archives. Printing plate for the SPs for William Perry. Now, the fan favorite autos from 2013 archives are the exact same cards as the SPs except for this gold foil and then of course the on-card auto. The William Perry is a uh, exchange redemption for the fan favorite auto and I still have yet to see one be listed on eBay. They are super rare. Um, I think it is kind of funny that I found a printing plate of the SP before I found one of the fan favorite autos but either way i saw it i had to have it it's pretty difficult to find these archives william perry's at all whether it be the sp the printing plate or the fan favorite autos but i have i want to say i have two philip rivers uh a jonathan stewart a jim plunkett and an, i think i have one or two more printing plates from 2013 archives so i'm glad to add that to the collection it's got that 1985 uh design 86 design so very cool um all right next up we have a rookie reprint this is from it says team tops legends hall of famer tommy mcdonald auto this is out of 2001 so 2001 tops, I believe. It might have been out of top stars, it was, or it was regular tops, one of the two. But uh, very cool. I, I got it for like 10 bucks. Anytime you can get a Hall of Fame rookie reprint certified auto, especially with a autograph that's that nice looking, that is absolutely gorgeous. Hall of Famer Tommy McDonald. 
that is, I believe, my first Tommy McDonald card, and it ha just ha just so happens to be an auto. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And hey, some 2021 product. How about this? If I can open it up. This is uh, this is different. We got some Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence tops issues. Now there are, I want to say 50 in the entire set and only the first 30 are actually based on tops designs. The last 20 are kind of more artistic designs. So I don't really, I don't really care about any of them except for the first 30, but we got 1992 design here and I wish they would have done the backs too, the original the original backs, but oh well. It's kind of cool, it does tell you, 1992. Um, we got 1980, 1995, uh, I wanna say 79? Yep, 79, let's see how, how good I am at these. Uh, I wanna say 63, 60, okay. Uh, 72? 72, all right, that is 76. That's like the Walter Payton. Um, shoot, I always get this wrong, 63 or 65? 62, okay, 64, 66, and then of course, the classic 1985. So I was, I was, I was correct for most of those. I think, I don't know what Trevor Lawrence is gonna do. Um, you know, obviously he's a rookie. He, we will, we are yet to see how good he is going to be in the NFL, but you know, those are pretty cool. I wanted to pick them up. I didn't get a box while I had the opportunity, so I had to, to grab some of the singles. Let's see if I can get the other 30 and maybe even some of the parallels. We'll see. All right, next up, this has got a, it's got a little, little mix here, mix of some, some individual singles and some graded singles. So let me pull these out. All right, we'll start with two Stefan Gilmore Topps Chrome rookies from 2012. Yes, from 2012. Why not? I did not have one and this was a lot of two. So went ahead and grabbed those. Got a 2010 Trent Williams Refractor rookie camera's having a rough time with that 2010 refractors just look absolutely gorgeous i love them trent williams one of the best ot's in the game he's kind of getting there up there in age now uh in comparison to the rest of the players in the league but uh i think he uh, he has a shot at a at a hall of fame so i mean it's very cool uh, ot ot's need some love some more 2021 product this is interesting I got a Leaf Metal Draft. JC Horn, looks like a Cracked Ice State Pride Rookie Auto, and that is silly numbered to 50. I got this for a coworker. He does not know I picked it up for him yet. He's the Panthers fan. So uh, I saw that along with the rest of the stuff from the same seller and thought I'd pick it up for him. Um, and then I have two graded cards here. Doesn't look like either one of these are gonna be for my personal collection because I already have this one in a better grade. But there is a 1984 Topps Morton Anderson rookie, PSA six. I'm pretty sure I have an eight or a nine on this. So that means this one's going to the trade or resell pile. If anybody's interested in a Hall of Fame kicker rookie, hit me up. And then uh, another Hall of Famer rookie, WCG grading, which I only usually see for those gold Jordans. Kind of loose in the case there, you can hear it. But uh, this is a Kurt Warner rookie from the Super Bowl set, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, 99-2000 Collector's Edge, Kurt Warner rookie, specifically from the rookie set. One thing I do find that's quite funny is it's graded a gem mint 10, but if you look at the centering on that, the centering is awful. It's like 80-20. So, oh well, so be it. This is another thing I picked up for cheap just to put in the 
cell pile, so it's uh, not a keeper. And then here's the big package. What do we got here? Okay. All right, this is this is some cool stuff. So some of this is for me and some of it is for resell or trade. This is one of the trade ones. 83 Tops Russ Francis PSA 6 from the 49ers. Uh, I have, okay, all right, two 1989 Pro Set Steve Atwater rookies. I will be keeping the eight for myself. And I will put the six in the trade and sell pile. So Steve Atwater Pro Set, because I do do Pro Set. I do tops and Pro Set and action pack. That's pretty much like what I keep. Um, and of course, tops Chrome and tops Archives and Heritage. Speaking of tops Chrome, there is a Javon Curse rookie, not a Hall of Famer. I'm not sure if he'll ever get in, but definitely a fan favorite. BGS eight Javon Curse Chrome rookie, very cool. Got some subgrades there centering off. And indeed, that centering is pretty rough. But nonetheless, I didn't have a curse rookie, so that's in there now. Uh, let's see, we have an SGC Keyshawn Johnson on the Bucks, graded in 92 upper deck from UD graded. Game used jersey. That's a rarity for cards nowadays, but uh, not a keeper. Um, it is a very cool card, but that is going in the sell and trade pile. Let's see another card of a Hall of Fame rookie that I already have a better grade of. I think I have a nine. So this PSA six Haley rookie from 87 tops is gonna go in the trade and sell pile. But uh, very cool, that was cheap. And then I picked this up for the girlfriend's mom. <laughs> she's a big uh, she's a big Joe Montana fan. So I saw this. I thought it was a cool card. Uh, 91 Upper Deck Heroes. I know there was a, yeah, it looks like a nine card set. It was an insert set. I think he got him one per box or something from 91 Upper Deck. Could be high, high series or... or or series two or high series. I don't remember exactly how many series they had, but nonetheless, cool Montana. I got that from the for the girlfriend's mom, so uh, she will be surprised when I give that to her. She's a she's a big 49ers fan, and um, and that's it. So this is the this is the video here. This is what we got. Um, what what am I most excited about here? <clears throat> uh, probably most excited about the Brian Sype for the fan favorites auto, uh, the William Perry printing plate, the Tommy McDonald rookie auto. I'm excited to get some of the Trevor Lawrence tops cards. That's pretty cool. And uh, and a Steve Atwater pro set rookie. That, I think those are the things that I'm most excited about regarding this haul. Uh, the Patrick Willis black refractor is amazing as well. But um, I think that's it for this video. That was eight packages there. Next video is gonna be kind of weird. I think I'm opening up uh, a bunch of classic tops hockey packs, trying to get some, some Hall of Famer hockey. And uh, I will be keeping two packs there as well. And then following that will be a um, a video of mail times of me getting a ton of unopened tops packs in for the pack collection. I will have to eventually follow that up with a pack collection update because there's a heck of a lot, heck of a lot of packs coming in. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Check out the Instagram right here. Ding. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.